sir, can we pray for you? God loves you. Come, come. You know, the Holy Spirit's located you. What's your name? Uh, Dave. Dave. God loves you, Dave. Yes. And this is... Uh, gran- is that Grandma? Or? Yeah, Grandma and Grandpa. Oh. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, sorry. They're my parents. No, no. <laughs> that's their Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. And, and we were talking in the foyer before. So... It's interesting. So this is your family, and the Holy Spirit touched you, and we believe God's about to touch your son. All right? So do you want to stand, sir? Are you able to stand? You're a young man, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> what's your name? Alan. Alan. So what's your son's name? David. What does David need from the Lord? Just be honest. Uh, I think he needs probably reassuring from God that he's loved and um, he probably never got it from me. <laughs> but uh, things like that and, and, you know, just a blessing in his family, um, you know. Um, so what's your name? Alan. Alan. What I'm sensing right now, because God did something in your life last yes. night and he's continuing tonight, all right? So I didn't. I wasn't aware of you sitting here. The Holy Spirit located David. So I believe the Lord wants to bring you and your son closer in reconciliation. So why don't you have a talk to your son right now? And this is a divine moment. If you need to ask forgiveness for not being loving, whatever you want, there's a microphone, you go and talk to him. (laughs) Put me on the spot, didn't you? Come here, son. Uh, I suppose some of the expectations always not that you were bad or uh, disobedient but just my expectations might have been uh, wrong and I just um, want to ask you to forgive me for that and uh, he's been a pillar help me I'm down here this weekend. I can't say anything else. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's all right. I, I forgive you, Dad. I know it was a hard upbringing. He lost his parents pretty early on. Um, so, and yeah, he was, he was actually last, just last week, he was in hospital and we didn't think he was even going to live through the week. Um, yeah, right here. So um, it was a miracle even getting here. So yeah, it wasn't even looking like we were going to make it just a few days ago. Um, yes. So David, you're David and you're Alan. That's right. Is that the longest you've ever given him a hug? Yeah, go and give him a decent hug. Go on. (laughs) Give him a clap. Give him a decent hug. I'm not a hugger. I'm not a hugger. Well, you know, God saved you so that you could be reconciled in a deeper way with your son. Isn't the Lord wonderful? He saved me for some other purposes too, I'll show you that. So what happened last night? Alan, do you want to take your hat off so we can see you? Yeah. Uh, can I just share a little bit briefly a couple of weeks ago when one of my close family members, when I said I was coming here, I showed her on the internet what you do and she said, uh, oh, she said, what happens if you don't get healed? And I said, well, I'll have to use my faith, won't I? Anyway, last night I was sharing out in the foyer. I said, I believe God didn't want you to pray for me. It was, I don't know. It, Sawadi. Sawadi. You know, I think God just had her lined up. It was a chair with a lady brought sitting in the, in the aisle there and I sat on that and then she prayed for me and she rebuked the cancer. We rebuke the spirit of cancer in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Loose your hold in Jesus' name. Loose your hold over Ellen in Jesus' mighty name. Every pain, every tumor must be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out in Jesus' name. Loose your hold in Jesus' name. And it, I felt it leave. You what? I felt it leave. I felt she, she <laughs> got rid of it, rebuked it. Look, I know I was healed 2,000 years ago. I know that's scriptural. But the manifestation never happened to last night. And then when I laid on the floor, I don't think I've ever, you know, sort of been pushed over before, but I, I sort of couldn't get up. And God said... <laughs> lost it now... Um, he said, who the Son has set free, you're free indeed. And I knew that I was healed from cancer two and a half years ago. Amen. <laughs>